Restoration Comedy started after about 17 years of the Puritan reform in England when they closed down all the theaters. So we find in Restoration Comedy lots of naughtiness and body humor. It was kind of like the English were making up for the 17 years they lost. It's definitely not subtle at all, um, although it's very intelligent because it is a theater of wit. So, Measure for Pleasure uh, actually has three different storylines, which most Restoration Comedy has. You follow the older couple, Lady Vanity and uh, Sir Peter Lustforth. And then you have the young lovers, who are Dick Dashwood and Hermione Good. Then you have kind of the new grouping uh, in this play, because it is a Restoration Comedy, but it is very modern. It was written only three years ago. And that is Will Blunt and Molly Tawdry. Molly Tawdry is a young transvestite prostitute who Will Blunt, who is Peter Lustford's servant, um, saves from being a prostitute and turns her into a lady's maid. David Grimm uses restoration comedy and well, as well as the bodiness of that style to, I think, relieve some of the tension the audience may feel. Um, it's kind of Animal House. It has this feeling that nothing really matters. That's not, everything's very frivolous and very easy to come by. But on the same side of that coin, you notice that that's the mask these characters wear. And when they really are starting to fill things, the physical comedy, the bodiness, gets in their way. So it's a really interesting duality to see. For me, the one thing I think audience members will walk away with and should walk away with is what does it take to be happy? Can you accept who you are? And how do we expect others to accept who we are? if we can't accept ourselves. Is it possible to be happy on your own or do you have to allow other people the chance to make you happy?